it from Manu Ginobili, who has struggled with his shot all series. Manu Ginobili has eight points. He scored five total in game four. And how do you take away the three-point shot? You switch the pick and roll. Bosch just switched. They could stay matched up. His best game of these finals. He was going to do it again this time to go to the rim. They're going to get a three point play. It comes from the foul. Ginobili able to get to it. Fisher back. Ginobili pulls it up. Yes. Shot clock to two. One. Ginobili. Yes. This is why, because you have two guys like Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker who like to run, who like to get out on the break, who can make exciting plays and finish like Manu does. So people are missing the way for the Spurs here. Nice little slashing drive right here. Definitely being able to attack. Are you going to make him go north to south? Are you just going to hard head? But Sacramento has not found a way to solve anyone in the pick and roll. There ain't even, even no one near him when he comes off the pick and roll. You know what? We've used the term nice his way in. I think he's reinventing that term. Point play opportunity for the Spurs. Battier grabs splitter. Able to finish it. And on this end, pick and roll. If you don't stop the dribbler, we go back door. You see Timmy Duncan grabs at the top. Ginobili starts his run like he's coming to the top. Ginobili steps behind the arc, the three for the tie is in! First couple minutes of the game, he's out of breath, but he seems to settle in pretty quickly. Ginobili gets a look, and hits it! Parker speeds into the front court, 30 seconds left in the third. Ginobili lays it in, 31 for Chris Paul. Alberto's made some nice passes in this game tonight. Puts his hands up, again, pressure, no pressure on the passer, excellent give and go, you learn that in grammar school. Defense do a better job. As McDyce is third down, and it's Bruno Ginobili hitting a player who was beaten off the dribble. Mono Ginobili. About physical contact, he's taking that ball right down in there, and he's going to challenge you right to the final whistle. Largest lead of the game for the Spurs. Don't count. Oh, baby! Oh, oh. Playing and with one hand for the dunk. And when you go small, you're taking the win. Three more. That was the dagger right there. That was big. You run the clock all the way down, and then you do put the dagger in. Step back here, just a little rocker step, just a little two fouls, very lucky he didn't pick up the third one here, and basically this is the old Moses Malone trick, just throw it up on the glass and go get it. You see Ibaka motioning to Ginobili when it was one-on-one, -on -one. he said, come on, come get it. Talked about Manu Ginobili being inserted into the starting lineup the first time in this postseason. Not disappointing. My side, you know, I think the reason Popovich took Parker out is Ginobili's just rolling, so you might as well let him have the ball, put a shooter in with Gary Neal, and save Parker for later. Looking at this, they're pushing the ball and trying to get down early. Before, when they played the last time, the defense was always set, and they were playing against Seattle's defense. Where he takes Ray Allen across the middle, big man steps up towards him. Ginobili taking the ball to the rim and nobody steps up. He, he's got that great. Mari Stoudemire in the lineup. He can roll to the basket and now he's capable of knocking down that jumper. Back to Nash, steps back. Nelson's on. He'd love to still have his dribble. Yes, he does. <laughs> Spins inside. And a bad pass. Take him back to Nobu. There's Parker. Good shooter is for both is he's not a great pull-up jump shooter. He's a three-point shooter and he goes out of the ring.